Producer, filmmaker, um, wound up being an executive producer of a TV show called um, All My Rock in the New Era. Um, I'm also the producer and writer of Contrarily Speaking, my first signature feature film from the side of the world. Well, I knew since I was in second grade that I was going to be a writer, and um, basically, internships is how I started. And I was willing to invest that time in learning about my craft. Uh, of course, I'm a broadcast journalism major, so my start actually started in television. So that's what my background is, is on television. Yeah. Uh, Spike Lee, Denzel Washington, um, Debbie Allen, um, Ava DuVernay. Right now, she's one of those um, new queens that we have in the business. Uh, John Singleton, I mean, the, the, the powerhouses that's in film, those are my influences, because they, they really inspired me. Got some money, I lost some money, then got it back again. I'm talking rest again, I'm on a drink. Yeah, since the Exposure TV Network uh, went to film festivals, and we're going to be um, December the 18th to the 19th, uh, we are in submission mode right now, so of course you'll get the information on that. But what we're doing is celebrating the black filmmaker. Um, so many times we've seen filmmakers um, that are of color get overlooked, not being able to tell their own stories. And since this um, thing with the um, um, gentleman, George, George Floyd, um, we've seen how this country really started to pay attention. Now is the time to go out there and tell our stories. And the Winter Film Festival, the Exposure TV app that's going to be on Roku, mm -hmm. Apple TV, Amazon Fire Stick, this is the time for filmmakers to show out. I'm riding out, I'm vibing hard, I can't even think again She's trying to link Well, that network is geared toward that person that's looking to monetize their content um, Exposure, um, TV network is derived from Exposure magazine, which was running for seven years It was geared for those people out there that uh, wanted to expose their brands and their message to the masses So. People don't realize that you don't need these high-end expensive cameras to do good production work. We cater to the high-end stuff and the mid-tier work, and to get in order to get them um, the content um, shown to 160 million homes. Uh, first, it starts off with a brainstorm. Um, I, I get that crazy look. In Starbucks, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. And stuff was looking crazy in the head because you gotta get those thoughts out. And you write it down and you gotta really meditate it all the time. You gotta see those characters in your head. You have to envision their reactions. You gotta keep track of all the temperaments. So the creative process it starts with your imagination and it's no holds bar. You gotta just turn it loose and just write it down. Uh, by far, Contrarily Speaking. I've done other films. Um, Contrarily Speaking started off about four years ago. Um, I didn't think I had the cast. I did have, I was just so blessed. Um, that's how I met Duke and um, Chris. Uh, they were, were participating in my film. Um, it's just my best work because of the love and support I had in it. I thought I had a cast crew, maybe 15 people. I think I had like 60 people participate in casting crew in this film. And it's an amazing project. And I can't wait to present that on the Exposure TV Network app. Um, these guys will be shown to me as a homes, and it's a blessing to be able to give back. Well, the current project is really working with artists um, that are looking to get their things on our channel. Um, of course, my writing projects, um, I actually have another novel coming out pretty soon. Um, it'll be my fourth book that I've worked on. Um, outside of that, just really getting my hands dirty and working with young uh, journalists and young artists right now. Uh, 
talking how you walk the eight. Let your money talk, let your money talk. I've been in sports journalism for definitely. I'm, um, I've always wanted to be, I started off wanting to be on ESPN, thinking that that was segue into film. Then turned out that way it's the opposite. I ended up working in television, but I had the opportunity to do an uh, anchor role here in Columbia. And then from here on out, for the past seven, eight years, that's what I've been doing. Talk, hey, talking how you walking, walking, walking like you talking, hey, let the money talk. Favorite childhood memory? Oh, wow. Um, I think Christmas at home with your family. I think that sounds kind of corny, but I didn't grow up with a whole lot that we had what I needed. But you learn, understand where your priorities are as your family, and that's where your strength comes from. So when I think of Christmas, I think about my family, my, my mom, my sister, my dad, you know, my immediate family. So that's all my best memories came from Christmas holidays. Oh, let that, let the money talk, hey. I let my money talk, we really like to talk. But I made a moment would be um, internationally recognized film production company um, that helps young black artists get their name out there who are underdogs. The people that were ignored their whole life, but because of my company, I was able to give them a shot and they go out there and flourish. Not unlike what Hollow Art does. But people, I don't like small talk. A lot of them looking about that talk, but they ain't about that walk. It forced you to change your your um, trajectory. Uh, Contrarily speaking, was originally supposed to be in film festivals around the country. Uh, we started, we filmed in July, got done in about no film bridge. So we're geared January, hey, we're going to film festivals. Um, my publicist, who's on it's her network, of course, she was saying, said that this is what we're going to do. COVID help, hit happened, we had to figure this thing out because all that stuff got shut down. Uh, thank God we had, thanks to my publicist, Tam Lawrence, who's over that network, Exposure. She had that platform in the works in October while we was filming it. So now it's in place and the infrastructure's in place to go out there and show it. So it taught me that you gotta be flexible with COVID and it's not over yet. You gotta think outside of the box. And if you're an artist, you gotta figure out how to get your content out there and we definitely got a solution for you. I'm just trying to make that hit and trying to be a boss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think changing the world thing starts with you changing within. Mm -hmm. um, you see how people are reacting, you know, you, know, you see your white counterparts now, how they're treating us. In so many ways, a lot of them are very, very sympathetic, some of them don't care. But I think when you see people who had an ideal of what the black experience was, and then they saw it firsthand, and they're changing, I think we all need to evolve from that hurt and pain. So we, if we change ourselves, we can change everybody else. And how we think. Like a in the rig rouse. Yeah. You know how I'm sliding. You know how I'm well, um, A, it's humbling. Any support I get is humbling. Um, one thing I hope to to really carry out as far as um, people supporting me, they don't see um, Jesus through me, how I work. They don't see that part of me. Because I don't do anything without his strength and hands on me in his favor. And if they can see that, I think that's why you should follow me, because he'll give it to you too. Down south, mobbing, so the city popping. Cola city, go to city, doing the most. I'm on that again. Sarah for the sun. Oh. <laughs> Why is that? Yeah. It's timeless. Um, I'm going to tell you one the reason why, and it sounds called all beat. You ever heard of a gentleman by the name of Paul Mooney? Yeah. Everybody heard of Paul Mooney. You know, you wrote a lot of those episodes, and the things he said in those episodes are true to this day. It was brilliance in that show. It's hilarious, but it's brilliant. And speak to today's times, and I think that's the reason why I love it so much. I got some money, I lost some money, then got it back again. I have several. Um, <laughs> Lean on Me, Glory, Malcolm X, uh, The Color Purple, uh, of course, The Matrix, mm -hmm. all series. Um, uh, Queen of Slim is one of my new favorites. Um, I mean, it's tons of roles, right? I mean, the black experience that's done and executed well, that becomes my favorite, and that's what it's about. Talking rest again, I'm on that drink again, I'm riding out on vibing. Oh, my playlist? Um, Cameo. Um, I was listening to um, Troop the other day. Um, a lot of 112 and Jacket Edge. 
Uh, I like listening to live performances like on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Like, like what I love, like, I love live performances. I'm drooling because I want to see you guys in action. But <laughs> that's in my play life. It's a lot of live performances of old school groups. Lord, I can't even think again. She's trying to link again. And I'm like, baby, I'm going to let my money talk. Oh, wow. Uh, right now, I would say because she's killing the game, Ava DuVernay. She's killing the game. But, um, she's telling our stories that no one really saw that perspective and her creativity um, just unmatched. And she thinks she's incredible. I would love to work with her. Cause I don't wanna talk a let my money talk. Yeah, I'm gonna talk a let my Well, um few people had that opportunity to do what I did. And I'd like to go back and that's Africa. I, I was in Africa back back in um I think it's the military. I actually spent my twentieth birthday there. And I'll never forget how those sights and sounds are. Um I talk about in my video how the stars look. It's nothing like the African sky at night. Those I mean, it looks as bright as what you're seeing now sometimes. After your eyes adjust, you cannot, it's unmatched beauty. Sure. And the people there are amazing too. Um, you can follow me on um, Facebook, Cedric Nettles. Um, also, filmmaker Cedric Nettles on Instagram. Um, Cedric Nettles on Twitter. And of course, when you go to the Exposure um, TV Network website, you'll see everything that we're doing and you can contact all of us there. If you have any questions. Okay. I'm the I'm talking straight. Drop. I want to thank um, Duke and Chris for inviting me. Um, they were on my show a while back, so I'm happy to be here. It's an honor. When you're on someone else's show, it's take a ground and you show love and respect. So that's what I'm doing. I appreciate them so much. And please don't let me remix it. It's a face off. Beat is knocking hard and knock his face off. You know what I mean, I'm chasing cake, dog. Yeah, I let my money talk.